Talking about the NRA is something you're, you're particularly mm. big on. Um, so do you think that the NRA and gun culture in general, do you think that's the greatest threat to American safety? Obviously you spend a lot of time in America. Well, it's just so ridiculous. So my, my son and his friend who are here, we had uh, lunch in Malibu recently and they were refused uh, a non-alcoholic beer, even under both 21, because they didn't have their ID on them to prove they were 21 to have a non-alcoholic beer. Yet an hour's flight away in Arizona at a gun range called Bullets and Burgers, a nine-year-old girl in pigtails recently shot dead her instructor at the gun range with an Uzi submachine gun that he just handed her to fire at, at targets with her parents in the background laughing. How can that make any sense? You know, uh, Kinder Surprise chocolate eggs, the ones with little toys in, they're banned in America because they are a health hazard. But in their place on the walls of the supermarkets are assault rifles capable of firing 100 bullets a minute. And you can get one like that. Um, you know, they have, by comparison to here, I was editor of the Mirror again after Dunblane in 1996. And Australia had a similar massacre far more dead uh, in Tasmania the same year. And both countries just basically got rid of guns. You know, we basically banned guns in this country. And guess what? We haven't had a school shooting since Dunblane. America's had 105 school shootings since Sandy Hook. I mean, these are staggering statistics. 100,000 people in America a year get hit by gunfire, of which 32,000 die. 18,000 suicides, 12,000 murders. Britain has about 32 a year dead from guns in total. Japan has two. Germany has hardly any, Australia hardly any. And yet as Michael Moore put it to me, if you look at Australia, Germany, Britain, Japan, four countries steeped in centuries of gun violence. So they can change, but you do wonder what will it take? I wondered after the Aurora movie theater massacre, when 70 people got hit and 12 died. Surely they're gonna change the law now. You've got some wacko kid dressed as the Joker who's armed to the teeth with 6,000 rounds he's bought on the internet perfectly legally and an AR-15 he's bought perfectly legally and handguns he's bought legally shooting up a, theater, a movie theater, a cinema. They've got to change the laws, nothing. Four months later, Sandy Hook. You know, where the mother of Adam Lanza the killer was an NRA member and had six guns in her house because the NRA had persuaded her, brainwashed her, that that was the only way to protect herself. Until mad little Adam goes in her bedroom, shoots her in the head, goes to the school because he's a dysfunctional little kid who plays video games all day in his bunker, and he goes and shoots up the school and kills 20 children. You know, and I, I, I remember the most powerful interview I did was with the daughter of the headmistress there. And she had seen some of the pictures. And you know, each of those kids between the ages of five and six was hit three to 11 times with bullets from an AR-15, each bullet making a hole the size of a golf ball. Now, you imagine that's your kid. And the answer from a civilized superpower is to do absolutely nothing. Don't bring in laws for background checks. So 40% of all gun sales in America are just completely unknown, whether they're to mentally insane people, criminals or whatever, just nobody knows. Right? Don't bring in any limit on high capacity magazine clips for, for the guns. So you can have 100 bullets as the guy at the cinema shooting had. He had enough to shoot the whole cinema. Nothing, no limit on high capacity assault rifles. Do you think this is all down to the American Constitution? Do you think that needs to change? Well, the, as I do? always point out to them, the Second Amendment, the name should give you a clue. It's an amendment. The Constitution is not this great sacred document that's never been changed. It's been changed multiple times. There are multiple amendments. It, do the Founding Fathers, do you think they would have sat here now and not changed the law to prohibit the use of machine guns with civilians on the streets? Of course they would have done. So I think there's this ridiculous NRA-driven obsession with telling Americans it's your right to be armed to the teeth. That's the problem. And it's driven from pure commercial greed. The NRA is funded by the gun manufacturers, billions of dollars. So every time there's a mass shooting, up gets Wayne Lapierre, who's a grotesque human being, and he just says, if only everybody in that cinema had had a gun.
they'd have stopped him. And as Michael Bloomberg, the former mayor of New York, put it to me, imagine the scene at midnight, which is when that screening was, with 400 people jumping up with guns in darkness and, and opening fire. How many would have died? At the school, you know, I interviewed a guy who was a Texas gun store owner, great big fat bloke in a cowboy hat, armed as I did the interview for CNN via remote satellite. And I said, what is your solution? He said, I've thought about this and you've got to arm the teachers. I said, you'd arm female teachers because predominantly at Sandy Hook they were female. Yes, I would, sir. I said, where would you put the guns? If you lock them away, they can't, they won't have time. Guys in there shooting. I thought about that and I would have them in their brassieres. He was serious. He wanted every female teacher in America to have a loaded gun in her bra <laughs> in a school, in a room full of 20 kids. Going, what's that? What's that, miss? You know, it was, it was a nuclear scientist the other day, a woman with four kids whose husband had given her for Christmas an adapted purse with a gun holster. So she put a loaded handgun in it, which she had a legal permit to have, and went into Walmart or one of the superstores, and her two-year-old son, who was sitting at the end of the trolley, said, what's this, you know, took it out and shot his mum dead in the aisle. She's a nuclear scientist. So you're dealing with a whole completely different culture, which you just pray somebody, somewhere, is brave enough to say, enough of this because it's bullshit. I tried, but I got fired. <laughs> so... <laughs>